Understanding Left Behind, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a commonly used phrase, left behind. This phrase can be tricky because it has more than one meaning. So, grab a notebook, and let's unravel the mystery of, left behind, together. First, let's talk about the literal meaning. Left behind, is a phrase composed of the verb, leave, in its past participle form and the adverb, behind. Literally, it means to leave something or someone in a place when you go somewhere else. For example, I left my keys behind at the office. Here, it simply means the keys were not taken along when someone left the office. Now, let's explore the figurative meaning. Left behind can also describe a situation where someone feels neglected or forgotten. For instance, if a child is not selected for a school play, they might feel left behind. This usage is more about emotional or developmental aspects, not physical location. Left behind is often used in social and cultural contexts. For example, when talking about technology, people who can't keep up with new advancements are said to be left behind in the digital age. This means they are not part of the progress or movement that others are experiencing. In this section, let's look at some idiomatic expressions involving left behind. Phrases like, don't get left behind, or leaving one's past behind, are common. These expressions often imply moving forward without something or someone, either physically or metaphorically. I hope this video has helped clarify the different uses of left behind. Remember, context is key in understanding whether it's used literally or figuratively. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language tips. Keep learning and don't get left behind in your English journey.